smells. I wish there was a smell. All this, you the see this? The burn. Look, I'm gonna keep it. It's beautiful. And I'm not joking. 3,600 per year yeah. in additional revenue the company makes. Okay. What are we paying? What's going on YouTube? This is Matt Faircloth. We're about to walk through an apartment that is very dated. It's just a little nasty. And we're gonna show you guys what can be done in renovating apartments. And this is an apartment that hasn't been touched in a very long time. So we're gonna show you how bad it can get and then what we can do to bring it back online, okay? So my man, Justin Fraser, is gonna take us through the CP's home. Here we go. Oh, hey. oh hey. There he is. Home. What's up, Come Justin? In. Oh, I'll do it. Justin's here. He is my business partner, ops manager. Come and on in. Welcome. The glue in the machine Welcome at the edge of the road. What's up, Justin? How are you today? Welcome to my place. So, Justin, this is a dated apartment, right? And a got a little little hair on it. It's, it's mm. got a little ripped up. So we gotta we're gonna put this thing back together. Yeah. It smells. I wish there was a smell meter on YouTube, but not. So. Justin, take us through what we got, what we're looking at, and tell me really what's up, what we're gonna do. Right? Yeah, so okay. we got a lot of fun stuff happening. And actually this, believe it or not, we've actually started the rental process yeah. already. So you caught us a little, a few days in here to yeah. the process. Yeah. So first, yeah, we we're beginning to discuss the old apartment. I don't know if you can show them the, the carpet first. So we've got- Oh yeah, a little 70s style shag. Here you yeah. go. So it's bad when the carpet is like clumping and, and all this kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, I feel a little sponge going on there. Yeah, Fine. Y'all might hear the lovely landlord's not favorite sound chirp in the background of a smoke detector needing a battery. That's so y'all exactly. might hear that in this video. But if you guys are a seasoned landlord like Justin and I, that sound very well and it tends to tick you off because I was like, it needs the battery in. That's all you do. That's just Make that stop. That'll be, that's, that's easy. It. That's the easy part. I know, we'll right. We don't do the easy part first. Battery. So good so, news, Justin. Big open floor plan. Bottom up. Yeah, exactly. So we've got an awesome floor plan here in this unit. You got some big bright lights. There are no lights on in here right now, so you can see us, we have these big bright lights in here. So what we're going to do is new flooring. So we'll get some plank flooring in here, get rid of this carpet. You like the plank? You like to go to plank floors, the sheet? Not the sheet. Not the sheet. We don't do the sheet. Not the sheet. We don't do the sheet. Do the Not sheet. in this community. Why? Because when we tour all of our comps, we see that all the competitive properties at the same price point have plank. Potential resident base wants plank or has plank at all the other options. So guess what? We have to be competitive with the comparison. Exactly. We can go for a good sheet and maybe they will know, maybe they won't know. You might save a few bucks. But honestly, we like the plank because it's a lot more durable. And if we are long-term buy and holders, as we typically hold our properties for more than just a year or two, you gotta flip a property in and out. You can put down sheet and you can get out of there. But since you're gonna hold the property, this unit might turn a few times when we hold it. So we wanna put that plank down once and not have to worry about it again. If I put down sheet, as soon as that first resident moves out and they're dragging that furniture across the floor and they move out, they're probably gonna rip it. Yeah. And then I've got a patch job that I have to go do. Now I've got a patch job or a repair job, which is not gonna look good. And I'm spending more than I would have yeah. if I just put plank down the very first time. All right, so that's flooring, Yes. Right? Uh, we're going to paint our walls. Yeah, okay. So we have this cool, awesome brick wall. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. We've got some brick. So all we're doing, and we actually did this already, was we painted our brick. So the one very cool feature in these units is we have brick. So we're not covering that up. We're just painting it so that instead of being red, it's uh, gray. Yeah. Painting the ceilings. Good job to paint painting the brick. The this, is, this is something you can do in an apartment building. We've got these big windows. We don't have to do anything here, except that they are big and bright and open. Looks good. We're going to put some coverings on with some, some blinds. Paint. Make sure the doors yeah. and locks work and all that, but right. that, that'll just be some blind work. That's cool. nice and easy. A little bit of privacy is a good thing, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. Little things like outlet covers will do, right? Get those yeah. back on after we paint. We did paint, right? So we've already painted these walls. That's why all the covers are off. So we get some nice white, bright covers on there. That's gonna look really good. Okay, so far. Flooring right. has been the biggest expense so far. Okay, but we'll go ahead in this kitchen. We're gonna head to the money. expense. Yeah, it's, 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 it's spend the money. Let's spend some Let's money. Go take a look. You can see there's a whole bunch of paint on the floor, right? There's paint on the floor, there's paint everywhere. Not because our guys are sloppy. No. No. What did we do, Matt? We painted the cabinets here. So we didn't replace our cabinets. See that? We painted our cabinets. And so all the cabinets of the cost since books, our paint, paint since the cabinet box. Exactly. See that? Instead of replacing these cabinets, the nice yep. big hardwood solid hardy doors, we just went through and painted these so they're nice and fresh. So we'll put some new hardware on here. It's gonna look great and feel great. New rubber stoppers, new yep. handle pull. We'll Should do like probably just some nice shiny stainless steel or something that looks shiny like there a chrome. That'll look real good. Tend to match it with the um, fridge and everything. Yeah, it'll all look good. 
it's gonna look nice and shiny and people are gonna say, oh, look at that. It's gonna look great. The shiny stuff on the handles looks great. What kind of light fixtures are we doing? We're just gonna do a, that's gonna go away and we don't keep that. <laughs> no, be... not a dangling light bulb? No, okay. we have right. a standard light kit. So for all, actually, if you go to almost any DeRosa property in our portfolio, you will see the exact same light kit. So we have our standard, that's like an oval light mm -hmm. that we use in all of our units. It's really easy. We buy it in bulk and we know exactly what yeah. it costs us. Oh, we got a warehouse full of them. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So we can always reorder, we know, and we've got that exact energy savings and all that. We are going to keep this counter. It's beautiful, isn't it? We're going to keep that counter. We are going to keep that beautiful counter. Oh. Look, all this, all this going growth on there. There over here, go. we're going to keep it, Lovely. believe it or not. Yeah. So all, all this, gonna, all this, you see this? The burn. Look, we're going to keep it. It's beautiful. And I'm not joking, but what we're... <laughs> We have some He's great, not joking. I'm not joking. But there's but a catch. There's weight. There's <laughs> more. We have awesome resurfacers who come in here. They're going to take this. It's going to look brand new. We have an awesome resurfacing crew who will come in here. They'll spend two to three days in here totally resurfacing every countertop in here. And it's going to be hardy and durable. Last four years, mm. they can basically take this countertop that looks like crud, make it strong and durable. Like they can rebuild stuff that's crumbling away, like wet around the sinks and stuff. That's all going to get rebuilt strong, and it will last us for years. So where all this these spots will go away, you'll have no idea. We've got a standard color that we use in all of our units that matches the cabinet scheme and everything else. We are able to save money by keeping the counters and just resurfacing. It's so, about a quarter of the cost of replacing uh, countertops. I just want to underscore a few things to make things look great in your rentals. Paint the cabinets. If you replace them, fine. That's okay to do that. But you can also paint the boxes. The boxes are in good shape. Find a good resurfacing company. The same company that can resurface that I bet you Justin would also resurface a bathtub. They do. Right? So find a bathtub resurfacing company and say, hey, let me tell you about my friends at the Rosa Group that are out there resurfacing kitchen countertops. And we can get this kitchen done for a fraction of the price that a brand new kitchen would cost. And I know y'all are waiting to hear a number here. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make them say the number of what we are gonna spend in this apartment and turn it around. So stay tuned, guys, because we're gonna tell you how much you guys can maybe spend in your apartments and turn these places around and also what the real number is on the back end and what this place will lease for compared to what we were getting for it before. Bathroom, be yucky. Aside from the smell -o meter I got lovely mold staining going around the outside of the bathtub there. That's all great, but you're gonna tell me we're gonna resurface that, aren't you? So same resurfacing company, it's going to do the bathtub, the shower surround, and the sink. So same company, same same vendor is gonna add that to their scope. It's gonna be part of the same scope. Mm -hmm. right? Unless is... the tile is so busted and beat yeah. up that we can't save it, we rarely have to do soap surround. I believe we covered everything. The major mechanicals you're not gonna to touch, like HVAC and that kind of Hopefully stuff. Hopefully not. Hopefully yeah. the major mechanicals were working for the last yeah. resident, they should be working for the next resident. We will clean things, of course. Doctor work will we'll clean out, of course. And we'll do a, a check over on everything, make sure that things are tuned up, working the right way give everything a, a once over. But yeah, if it was working for the last resident, it should be working for the next resident. All right, Justin, time for the brass tax, my friend. The numbers. What was this apartment rented for before? And this unit was probably renting for about 850, which was well below market rent. Okay, 850. And what would you hope that our leasing specialists would be able to get we'll us? We'll probably get north of 1150, maybe push. Maybe 12 right now. Right. So we're going to get a nice pretty bump on this one. All right. Yeah. All right. So 850 to let's say you're right about 12, yeah, right? So maybe 300 ish on the yeah. safe side. Yeah. So that's 3,600 per year yeah. in additional revenue the company makes. Okay. What are we paying? Man. Every unit is going to be a little bit different, right? Yeah. So now in this unit in particular, you saw we had no appliances in this unit. Yeah. This unit needed that full countertop. This unit yeah. needed, this unit smells like smoke, so we're going to have to spend some extra time in here. The full carpet's got to be replaced. The tub surround versus the resurface, that's all going to change things. On average, we might be spending about $8,000 in a unit like this. But, Justin, to make $3,600 per year, yeah. an additional rental income, guys, you're spending $8,000, to get that adds up over Good. time. Now, if you are watching this and you own a four to five unit apartment building, you can still apply these same principles and that change in additional revenue will just go right to your bottom line in cash flow. If you're owning a large apartment complex, this happens, how many is this? This one is over 200 units. This is 200, 200 unit apartment complex. So every time we do this, it's, that 3,600 to the bottom line of the NOI for this property, right? 
if Justin, we on, on a 10% cap rate only because Matt can do quick math that way, right? Sure. Yeah. If I increase bottom line revenue by 3,600, I increase value by $36,000, right? Now cap rates are not. Cap rates used to be five. So at a 5% cap rate, that's 72,000 in, in, in increase. Now we're not in a, in a five cap rate environment anymore, but that is additional value. And if I do that just over and over again, as we have here in this apartment complex, we're probably about to either refinance or sell this place to pull back a lot of the additional value we've created in this apartment complex by just doing like the, the roll the sleeves up, renovation per door on all these apartments, right? That's magic value add. Now, that doesn't always go as perfect according to plan, right? Because some, sometimes these yeah. units, some of these units might be $12,000, right? Because you get a whole slew of extra repairs or surprise plumbing, or maybe we've got subfloor repairs or roof repairs or extra broken windows, right? So it doesn't always work out that math. Sometimes a previous resident was maybe renting for a thousand, right? They had a higher yeah. lease and now we're not getting the full rent pump. So it doesn't always go according to as beautiful math as we like, but in general, yes, this one unit will do that. And so that's the general idea of value added. So we can take okay. those lower performing units, put the, the, the work in, get them higher performing, take your capture guess that value added. And who in the DeRosa team is the optimist? I'm just saying, the yes. okay. I'm just, yeah. I'm here in the trenches doing the work, right? <laughs> Matt gets excited and I gotta like, bring him back in. Matt's already right. spending all this money. He's already, he's yeah, already at counting. At the end of the day, guys, there is, there's certainly capital improvements and you got, you got a budget for the ups and downs. That's right. this. But Justin, thank you for a yeah, tour of an apartment, of a unit that needs a lot of renovations and go through the numbers of what it takes to renovate these these units and how to manifest those uh, increases in value to your bottom line uh, and for your investors. Come back anytime. Appreciate it, bro. See you. Oh, see you guys.